Well, two weeks from today, C.B. Stubblefield will have turned 90 years old. Sadly, we lost him back in 1995, but before his death, the man that the world knew as Stubbs became one of the biggest names in barbecue. And that legacy lives on today with his popular line of sauces still found in grocery stores across this country. But his story of eventual success starts on Broadway, and no, not the one in New York. No, it was actually 12 of them, 12 brothers and sisters. My great granddad, which was, you know, his dad was a, a preacher, but they actually came to love him pretty much for the cotton. But eventually, as he got older, he uh, he joined the military, and, and that's where he kind of learned, you know, or grew his love of cooking. So, I mean, there's actually a story of him cooking chili on a, a tank tailpipe. <laughs> 1968 is when he started the restaurant there in Lubbock. You know, it grew. I mean, he was almost about to go out of business early on but then he started doing the sunday night jams you know he he met up with uh jesse guitar taylor and when he met him he brought his friends over and they started doing the sunday night jams and that's when it became really popular with all the big musicians coming to stubs and just hanging out over there everybody loved his food and they loved the sauce and the music just made it even better you know you think about barbecue you always think about having a good time so barbecue is like a party so the party's not a party without the music but eventually uh, he fell on hard times again and wasn't managing his business right and that's where he ended up closing down in like the early 80s and, and moving down here to austin uh, when he first got down here, he, you know, he didn't have his own restaurant. He was actually uh, cooking barbecue behind an old uh, club, you know. You know, at the end of the night, all the, the clubs would throw all their bottles away, and he'd get those old bottles, clean them out, and, and bottle up his sauce in there. And, you know, like I said, started out giving his as gifts to friends, but he needed to make money, and his friends told him that he should sell the sauce. Here now to help us all the way from Austin, Texas, is C.B. Stubblefield, known as Stubbs. Oh, Stubbs! <laughs> Uh, how, sir, did you uh, become interested in the uh, the science, the art, the fun of barbecuing? I was born hungry, my dad said. We had to cook. <laughs> I was in high school, and I remember just actually being at home in the bed watching it when he was on it. I mean, it's kind of weird, you know. You never thought of somebody you know actually be on a, a show like that, you know, that that's pretty much shown everywhere. Oh, my. Well, how do you like chicken. your logs? <laughs> Pepper, salt, garlic, and this is Stubb's special spices. Right, what's in the special spices? All of Stubb's love and happiness. Uh -huh. make it all come out. He say love and happiness. You know, he he, he wanted everybody to, to like his food, so he, he put his heart into everything he made. He, you know, he wanted to, I mean, he didn't care if you were rich or poor. I mean, he just wanted to give you a good meal, so... He just put his heart into everything he prepared. He didn't want people to think he was uh, all, I guess say all that, or, or, or he didn't, he just wanted them to know that he was a cook. You know, that that's what he loved to do, and that's what he was. He didn't want people to call him a chef or anything. You know, I travel around to Texas, and I, I met up with a few people that say, your, your granddad made a cook being cool, because <laughs> everybody loved that quote, that quote, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a cook. And a plaque at his memorial on Broadway near downtown Lubbock calls him a cook, poet, philosopher, and Texas legend. And Stubbs will forever be a piece of our black history. A big thank you to his grandson, Rocky, there, who spent so much time talking to me about his late grandfather, who in 2019 was officially inducted into the Barbecue Hall of Fame.